Hey guys, it's Tracy. Yes, I know I look like a hot mess. Like I haven't put any makeup on. I just woke up and I still have my glasses on. So sexy. So today I am going to show you guys how I clean my brushes because I haven't cleaned them in forever. And today I'm going to be using the Sigma Spa brush that I did buy and I have not used it yet so I'm so excited. And then also I'm going to be using my Benjabella um, brush holder cleaner which is awesome. So I'm going to show you these and let's get started. Hey guys, it's Tracy again. So these are all the brushes that I need to clean. I know there is a ton. Um, I'm going to be using the Sigma um, brush cleaner and it's got the rinse and the wash on it. This thing is awesome. This is going to be my first time using it but I've seen tutorials on it and it's amazing. So I'm going to be using this and then I just have a plain paper towel to lay my brushes on there. And I'm using um, just the Johnson um, Baby Shampoo. It's really um, mild on your brushes and I love it. So let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to turn the water on. And I like to have it like, you know, not hot, but just, you know, warm. And I'm going to take, um, this is a Real Technique powder brush. And I am just going to put a little bit of soap, not too much. And I'm going to wet my brush, and then I'm just going to lightly turn that all around. See how that makes a really nice lather? It's definitely what you want. And I'm actually deep cleaning my brushes because they are, I have, like I said, I have not washed them in forever. And then you're going to take the little and then just take all that excess soap off. Like that. Just like that. And this glove does an awesome job. And then just squeeze it out. So when the water runs clear and you don't see any more um, soap or anything, I'm just going to wring it out one last time, kind of pluff it up a little bit, and then I'm just going to set it right on my paper towel. We're going to take another one and then do the exact same thing. And this is my um, Sigma from the Paris Collection um, Contour Brush, which I love. It is my favorite of all time. And they do have a link for 10% off their products online, which I'm going to um, try to get the code for you and then link it down below. Look at how dirty that is. That is so nasty. This is, I'm so bad at cleaning my brushes. I'm awful. And it's really important that, that you do clean your brushes at least once a week because it prevents from you guys breaking out or, um, you know, just all that back. You don't want all that bacteria back into your, into your face. Well, I'm just going to be doing my e.l.f. Um, contour angle brush and doing the same thing. And actually for this, because it's a smaller brush, these have little um, smaller ridges. I'm actually going to use this side because it really, really gets in there and really penetrates the bottom of the bristles. And that is exactly what you want. There's a lot of boot. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, there's like a lot of boobage in this video. Oh, 
And you just keep twirling around. Make sure you get everything in there. You just want to rinse your brush off or your glove off and just keep doing it until you've got everything clean in there. And I mean this holds, these little brushes can hold a lot of soap. So I did do a haul on this glove. I did get it for um, about $40 which seems a little spendy, but you guys, it is totally worth it. I am so lazy at cleaning my brushes, but this thing, I mean, it does an, a fantastic job. It's definitely worth it. And if I'm gonna be giving you that 10% off code, you know, it'll still be, you know, not super cheap, but it'll definitely um, be cheaper. And you know, I don't have a ton of money to spend on, you know, all the latest things in that. But this, I think, is a very, very good investment. Um, it is definitely worth it, I think. And you know, like, I'm not a professional. I'm just somebody at home that likes to do makeup. So... You know, don't judge me. I just like to have fun doing it, and I really like to do videos for you guys. I know I haven't uploaded a video in about, I don't know, a good week and a half. I've just been having some problems, that, a little bit of issues in my life that, you know, I've been a little down, but I'm slowly picking myself back up, and don't worry about, you know, anything too much. It's just, I need to like, kind of get my regroup w with myself and um, get me back on track. Alright, now I'm going to um, wash my MAC stipple brush, 187 And I paid a shit ton of money for this. I know, I'm so unhappy with this brush. I kind of wish I could take it back and get my money for it, back for it. I used this once, and it shed it all over my face. And I did buy this at... Nordstrom on um, the mat counter so I know it's real and it just pissed me off so bad but it was like almost like a $40 brush and I can't believe I spent that much money on it I did buy a, um, a whole set of the Mr. Bunny Sigma brushes which are amazing um, when these are drying I'm going to be starting to use my Sigma brushes And I think I'm going, I am in love with Sigma's products. They are so good. But Mac, everyone tells me that I need to try their um, 217 blending brush. But after purchasing this and really just being really disappointed in it, I don't know if I really want to spend like the $30 on a 217 brush. And I also thank you for all the new subscribers that I've gotten. That I mean, it's amazing how one video from um, that I posted to Nina on radio, which was so small and tiny, that I could get so many viewers. I mean, Nina, thank you so much for commenting to my video, and it really means a lot to me because usually all like the big gurus and stuff you comment on their videos and things like that and they never respond to you so i'm so thankful that you did that and i hope that um my viewer the subscribers that i have now do watch me and if you guys um like my videos please definitely like like this video up and definitely do comments below for me and tell me what kind of videos you do want to see because I'm a very simple person and I really am just starting out in the YouTube 
community. And I definitely want to know what you guys think and what you guys want to see. Do you guys see how clean that got? That was all that white on there was completely brown from all the bronze that I use. I mean, so if you got white brushes, it pisses me off when I get a white set of brushes with the bristles and you try to clean it and it just completely, like you wash them and wash them and wash them and they still look dirty. Look at that. That's how well that cleans. That's awesome. I just, I, I can't say enough about this, this um, cleaning glove from Sigma. It's, I'm so glad I purchased it. So glad. I'm going to be doing a haul for you guys, hopefully sometime this week, so I can get more videos up this week. Um, I did order some things online, and I'm hoping that those will... I finally got everything in the mail, so I'm hoping to upload that sometime. But like I said, I just... I really... I just have not been in the mood... I've been so lazy and non-creative. I just, I just needed some, you know, some time to myself and stuff. And, you know, all the your guys' support of watching my videos and, and everything, it just, it makes my day so much better. So much better. For the little brushes, I use the this side with all like the little little ridges, and it works perfect. Look at all that product! It's crazy how that can just get in there. So I'm going to finish cleaning the rest of my brushes and I will be back with how I let these dry. So I will talk to you in two seconds. See you later. Alright, finally on my last brush. Got everything clean. Hey kitty. What you doing? This is my kid, one of my cats. Otto. He's just sniffing all the brushes, figuring out what am I doing. Aren't you being? Yeah. Alrighty. You gonna help me? Yeah? You can help me if you want to. Alrighty. I think we are all done cleaning my brushes. So I'm going to take a paper towel and just damp that off. It's not super wet. And then I am going to show you how I dry my brushes. Okay guys, so I'm done cleaning all my brushes now. I'm going to be using my Benjabella um, Vertical um, Brush Dryer. And this thing is awesome. And it's super, super simple to use. This is what it looks like. It's got little indentations on each thing where you put your brushes so what I do is I put a piece of paper towel underneath where I'm going to be putting this and you just want to attach these together like that and you're going to just like that so it just stands up perfect so I'm going to take another 
um, paper towel and I'm just gonna squeeze as much extra liquid in there as possible and then I'm gonna hang dry them like that and this is perfect so sometimes I've noticed when you are when I'm drying brushes if I lay them flat like this on the counter and then they do they still they f keep their shape and everything but they're flat on one side and that's that's no good especially when you spend a lot of money on brushes you don't want to do that so then they just hang dry and they keep their shape which I think is awesome and this is made more for um, thicker brushes like this but what you can do you can take your smaller brushes and just clump like like two or three together make sure I got all that and then like that so then they hold together this is I swear this is so snazzy I mean it works awesome Now I'm just going to probably put these two together. And they did act, this company actually did come out with a smaller one. Which is, you know, for your smaller, smaller, tiny brushes like this. These, I don't know, these should fit. I might have to double up a lot of them though. But I think this was so innovated and so freaking smart and the the person that I found this out from was um Goldie Starling she is freaking amazing I love her tutorials and she does awesome awesome costume makeup and there is my cat hey babies what's going on you love being in the shop don't you yeah. Mm -hmm. on the floor. Sorry about that, guys. But yeah, this I will leave a link below where you can purchase this. And and also, it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's perfect for cleaning, I mean, drying your brushes. It's awesome. And it keeps them off the floor, off your counter. I just, I love it. I think these will go together. And I got two left. Alrighty, you guys. So that is how I clean and or uh, clean and dry my brushes. Sorry. Um, like I said, like up this video for me and comment below how you guys do it. I would love to get new ideas and everything. Like I said, and I'm sorry about my appearance, but like I said, I just woke up and I knew I really needed to um, clean my brushes, so I decided just to do a video for you guys. And like I said, please subscribe and I hope you like up this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.